but as far as a cheap case with a fan, it's not bad at all. Hello YouTube, today we've got the El Duino fan case. A lot of people like this case because it's one of the cheaper fans on it's one of the cheaper cases on the market that does include a fan. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Inside the box, we have instructions. We also have um, lots of little screws, and you have some rubber grommets as well. These are the good um, rubbers, grommets. I'm calling them grommets. Rubber stickers, rubber legs whatever you want to call these. These do go on the bottom of the case. I'm going to put these on now. I'm just going to put them exactly where these little screw holes are. There's little indentations. They do a little advertising on the bottom of the case, which is fine because not many people look at the bottom anyways. Okay, so we've got the bottom of the case on. What happened? Okay, so it kind of has like a hinging mechanism, but it's two separate pieces. It's made out of very thin aluminum. It's very light, very light case especially for an aluminum case. Um, this one might block the Wi-Fi signal a little bit just because it's metal, but it should be okay. We'll see here in a moment. So first off, uh, you can see that the micro SD goes towards the back there and you have these four little legs in there. You have four little legs inside. So let's go ahead and put our Pi in and secure that down, line up the HDMI and everything else. Kind of slides in, That's the best way to do it. After it slides in, the, um, the 3.5 is the one that sticks out the most, and then you want to get it as flush as possible there. Oh, look, I'm not even following the directions. I put the pie in first. Okay, fan goes just like that. So the bolts go in on the outside. And then the nuts go in on this side. All right, we have our fan screwed in now. Next thing to do is plug in the fan pins, refer to the front pitcher. Boom, there you go. There you go, red and then black, just like that. Let me get a little close up here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there's one pin to the right of the red, and then the red is on the second pin on the outside, and then the right. Here's another way to look at it here. You have a single pin, and then red, and then black. Okay, on the outside. Now it says put back on the case. It says go straight down, but let's see how that works. Okay, so we got that on. And then the last thing is, oh, it says legs last. I did the last thing first. And then you gotta screw this in. They do give you one extra screw each in case you miss it. All right, there you have it. You get your two screws, power, HDMI, AV. You have your fan over here, micro SD slot, easy to get into. Got the bottom, got the side for your GPIOs, and then the front here, you have your four USBs and your internet, and uh, that's it. It's got the rubbers on there, it's got this little racing lines on the top. It's a very discreet case, I'll give you that. It's, if you want something discreet, light, affordable, with a fan, this is definitely one of the ones to have. Um, you know, you can go the Flirt case or an aluminum case, those are even better for cooling, but as far as a cheap case with a fan, it's not bad at all. The last thing I wanted to check is the fan noise, so let's go ahead and plug this in really quick. And this is how loud it is. It's by far a quiet fan, quieter than anything else I've heard. So if you want a quiet fan, you, you, there's no way, this would be like a little hiss in the corner, there's no way you would hear this. Like a bubbler in a fish tank is 10 times louder. This is really quiet. Let me just be quiet really quick. Yeah, I mean, I could barely hear that. So there you have it, have it the El Duino case. They did send me this unit to review, and uh, I've seen other channels review it with, with you know, with all high remarks, and uh, I agree. I mean, where I would probably give it not so great is like they just cut a big hole here, so you can still kind of see the fan. This isn't really that well made in that area right there. 
Um, I like the racing strips, strips at the top. I like that they did put the little accent here to block the between the Ethernet and the USBs. Like they put it, they didn't just put a big cutout. So they did good there. This side is perfectly good. I do like that they include legs. I don't like that it says their brand name on it. It's, it almost says that they're doing like a free advertisement here, but that's fine. Most companies do that. Um, and I like that, I do like that it's very compact. Like this is, it, I mean, when you think about how tall the pie is, there's only about what, like one eighth of an inch additional there. And then as far as the length of the pie, there might be like what, one inch, maybe less, um, which is great for airflow. So from a using, utilizing as little space as possible, this is definitely a good case for that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There'll be links to get these cases in the description and we'll catch you guys on the next one.